If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. I'm Aileen Fountain. I am a real estate agent with EXP Realty, been uh, in the business 20 years and um, this is this is all I know and it's all I love. <laughs> if we go back to the beginning, I was just a 25 year old kid who got into the business and had no clue what I was doing, no clue how I was going to make it. <clears throat> I just figured if I sold eight things a year, I'd be rich. And, uh, you know, but, but I went into it, um, you know, not really understanding that I was going to be running a business and growing a business. And, you know, you just don't think like that at 25 years old. Somebody asked me for help. I went and helped them and sold them a house or sold them this or sold them that. And it was great. Um, had no clue what I was actually doing, but, um, but no, I did, you know, it, it, I learned so much early on because um, I had success right out of the gate. And then, um, you know, a year and a half in, I, in my mind, I'm like, I'll be a millionaire by the time I'm 30 because I was, I was doing that well. Um, what I didn't realize was that the Great Recession was going to come and change everything. And so I went through the Great Recession. It was extremely challenging. Um, hard, one of the hardest things I've ever been through. And... Um, really in in that time frame i i cultivated different ways to lead generate i started doing coaching programs and so i really started to grow as a real estate agent as a person um just going through trials and tribulations early on in my career set me up had no idea it was going to set me up for huge successes but that's ultimately what it did and but it was it was such hard times like you really you, there, were, there were times you can't even see light at the end of the tunnel because the Great Recession just drug on and drug on and seemed to last forever. Um, but the reality is I came out on the other side and completely blew my business up and, and have seen successes far beyond you know anything that I would have thought at 25 years old. So my, my, my road to ending up at EXP Realty, you know, I was 14 years in the business at that, at that time. Um, was not looking to make a change whatsoever. I was literally just focused, hyper-focused on my personal business, growing my business in my little bubble, in my little town, in my little area, had literally blinders on, like hyper-focused on just that one goal. Was not looking to switch brokerages, perfectly happy where I was. Um, actually thought I would retire with that company. Uh, had Had no thought it hadn't even crossed my mind to leave the brokerage that I was with. And um, so Tim Hollanden is, uh, he and I had become good friends at that point in time. We'd been friends for about four years. He had actually really, um, he was a team leader in another market. We were at the same, same brand, same brokerage. So we, you know, we spoke the same language. Um, our ideals lined up, the way we ran our business lined up, the way we thought everything you know he was just such a great mentor for me because we thought so much alike well he he of course had was a, a few years advanced to me so he was kind of coaching me to get to get to where he was um so in that time frame we became really good friends and um it was it was 2017 to take you back to you know real time 2017 he starts telling me he's thinking about leaving the the brokerage that we're at um, or the brand that we're at. And I, I literally was like, why, why would you leave? Like, are you crazy? Like, like we're so successful and like, we're only going to get more and more successful. Why would we even want to think about leaving where we are? And so he started kind of breaking it down, you know, the attributes of, you know, EXP Realty, why, why he was looking at it. And I was just kind of like, I kind of dismissed it. I was like, 
we can keep talking about this, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not interested in, in making a change. Um, so we'll continue to have that conversation. I was more just listening to him out of curiosity at that point. I mean, I did respect, you know, his, his opinion and I definitely respected, you know, his business. So I certainly was interested and intrigued, but not serious, if that makes sense. So fast forward five or six months, he and I are, are having those conversations and then he calls me up. He's like, Aileen, I met with my team last night and we are switching to eXp Realty Monday morning. And I was like, jaw drop. I was like, what? I was like, you're really doing this? Like you're really gonna leave our brokerage and go to eXp Realty for this company that we, you know, barely know anything about and he's like I'm really doing it I was like okay I was like well I got my little calculator out my pen and pencil and I started getting a little more serious about it I'm like okay so I started calculating like what it was like all the extras that this brokerage offered that was completely unheard of um still unheard of even in today's 2024 market but back then 2017 like it was all just completely foreign things. I mean, agent owned brokerage, you own stock, you earn stock, you know, revenue share, like all these concepts that, you know, were totally foreign. Um, but that's when I kind of got serious about looking at the company and I hit a trigger point in, in the whole calculations of everything that I was like, oh my God, like, I think I'm going to this brokerage too. Once I made my mind up, it was done. Made the switch and here we are six years later. <laughs> because at the time it did feel risky uh, because I was the first, um, first you know, relevant agent in, in our area to make the switch to eXp Realty. And it was still, I mean, like I said, this was, you know, into 2017, going into 2018 at, at, at this point when I'm making this consideration. So, um, you know, 2018, it was such a small brokerage at the time, really small, unheard of in, in my area. So it did feel like a huge risk. I'm like, here I am, I'm on this trajectory of success with my current brokerage. Why would you make that switch and go to this small brokerage that had not, you know, really at that point in time proven itself. So it did feel very risky and I was scared to make that switch. Um, has it changed the trajectory of where I would have been had I not made the switch? Um, absolutely. So would I have still been very successful six years later staying at my current brokerage? 100%. I'd still have a great business. I'd still be doing very well. I'd still be the top of the leaderboard at the old brokerage. Um, the difference though is as far as trajectory goes, um, I mean, I, it's compounding math, you know, but the, the amount of stock that I've earned in six years, you know, I think people kind of gloss over the stock. I don't know why, because it's it, to me a huge, reason to come to the company what other what other brokerage is publicly traded let alone on the nasdaq and then what other brokerage is actually offering to give you stock and a piece of the ownership of the brokerage you know really and so you know you compound that over a six-year time frame right and i'll probably be in the business another 10 years so now you're looking at close to 20 years of compounding effect that trajectory in all the extras is kind of hard to define because it is so significant. So, and then, you know, the revenue share, oh, something that, that a lot of people are either super interested in or not interested at all. It's kind of what I've found for me. I'm interested in it. I mean, why would you not want to try and earn a piece of the brokerage's, you know, income every month if you can? So again, these are all just extras on top of already having and building and continuing to build a successful real estate business. Now you have these extras that you really, it's hard to quantify or calculate, but over time it, it's, it's massive. So trajectory is significant. 
and um, you know your your retirement, what your retirement looks like is pretty drastic when you take all those things into account. And and literally all I did was pick up my business from this brokerage and move it to this platform. And I got all these extras that completely magnified my trajectory. At the time, you know, six years ago, I think my biggest concern, you know, again, the company was relatively small. I think my biggest concern was, is this company like for real? Are they legit? Like, I mean, am I really going to earn these extra things that they're promising? Or is, you know, is this, you know, just a lure? Um, that was probably my biggest concern because, you know, Tim had kind of already come over. And so I wanted to make sure that like he had kind of landed, had, had landed safely <laughs> before I, I made the switch. But he, you know, it, it honestly hadn't been a ton of time. So, I mean, like, Mine was more as like the proof is in the pudding, right? Like, but you have to get there and experience it before you know for real, like this is real. So that was my biggest concern. As far as the cloud-based uh, nature of the brokerage, I am a very forward thinker. I'm always thinking five years down the road. And people who know me know that I'm a goal setter. I'm always one to three to five years down the road in my mindset. So as far as that, went I actually loved that part of it because I knew that like they were ahead of the curve I think they were ahead of the competition in so many different aspects that I felt like man if they are for real and this takes off like the sky is the limit because of the way that they're set up the leadership that they have the style the cloud-based brokerage style I mean they can we can grow at scale like nobody can Nobody can grow at scale the way that we can. And I'm not even just talking about domestically. I'm talking about globally. We can grow. I mean, we can take over the world if we want to. And I mean, and I think ultimately we will be the, a worldwide brand. I think that's where we're going. But again, like I'm always looking like down the road. That may be 10 years down the road, but who cares? Like I own a piece of the brokerage. So if we become the global brand... <laughs> That's a great day for me. So that's, uh, I guess that's that's another thing, you know. Andy and um, and I came over to EXP Realty together at the same time, um, and uh, you know, you never know how things will play out down the road. But ultimately, we, you know, decided to start a YouTube channel together. I was actually had. Um, been a team leader at that point for about seven years. I had already kind of done, had a small team and the team had kind of disbanded at this point in time, um, which was, I was kind of happy about cause I was like, you know, I just, I just want to focus on growing my business. Just, you know, worry about what I've got going on and um, really just go back to being a single agent. Andy and I uh, decided to do the YouTube channel together. And I thought, okay, this is actually something that I would like to do. I had already had so much ideas for the content. I just didn't have the right partner. I wasn't even thinking about a partner, but I just didn't have the time to implement all the content that I had in my head. So it was like a perfect partnership because he came in, he, you know, he does all the back end stuff. I can give him my ideas on content. Of course, he has his own ideas as well, which is great because you got to have a lot of content. So, um, you know, and then I get to continue to do what I love, which is sell real estate on a bigger scale. <laughs> well, I mean, I think ultimately, I, I don't think it was the, that, I think that was really what, once I actually put the numbers on paper and put pen to paper and got my calculator out, I, I think that the difference was significant enough for me to want to take the risk. So, yes. Um, that is ultimately why I felt like, okay, I can take this risk and then go see if this is legit, see if it's real. If it's not, I feel like there's a, a, a good brokerage that will, will take me. I mean, once, once I started looking, I mean, there were other brokers starting to reach out to me and trying to kind of, I guess, recruit me. But, um, but I felt like, you know, worst case scenario, I'll still be able to land back at another bro traditional brokerage if, if it doesn't, if it's not what I think it is, basically. 
Well, for me, you know, because I did have a, a, a good business going, um, it was less about the savings and more about the extras. Like for me, it was way more important to earn stock, have an opportunity at revenue share. I mean, you know, because those are the things that, you know, I knew I had 10 more years left in the business. I mean, I knew I was going to be, you know, selling for at least 10 more years. So why not build that up along the way and then just have that much more, you know, to one day maybe retire on or, or whatever. But I just knew that that was for me the important thing. It, it was less about the savings, if that makes sense. Looking out trajectory another one, three, five years, um, I, I see myself consistently continuing to grow. Um, you know, I had have got 20 years worth of, of repeat and referral business that is my bread and butter. But um, the stuff that Andy and I do together with the YouTube channel, I mean, that that's what keeps you relevant moving into the future. I mean, if if for whatever reason, you know, my bread and butter went away tomorrow, I feel confident that my trajectory is still going to grow because of the other things that we've implemented, which is, you know, the YouTube channel. And, and that's a, that's, that's a huge, um, that's a huge thing that, you know, piece of the puzzle to, that continually you get to build your business with. Um, as he mentioned, you know, we get calls from people all over the country all the time and they're interested in our area either to move to or invest in. And so, you know, um, I think we're all trying to solve that part of, of business is, is, is how do you stay relevant moving forward? How do you continue to grow your business? How do you create business? If, if you've got a team, if you're a team leader, I mean, your biggest issue is how do you continue to, to feed your team? You know, it's the biggest part of the equation that you've got to figure out. Uh, Orange Beach and Gulf Shores, they're kind of two side-by-side -side towns, um, have a lot of similarities as far as, you know, the beach and the community and and whatnot. But, I mean, I honestly, I, I've traveled all over. I've been all over. I cannot tell you another place that offers as much as Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama offer for the cost of living. I mean, it, it is just an unbelievable, you know, decent cost of living for what you get, the lifestyle you get, the things that there are to do, the weather, the beaches. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, a huge thing moving forward, you know, I have a, a, a young son and both Gulf Shores and Orange Beach have created city school systems. So the, which is only helping the area, you know, tenfold because everybody who has kids wants their kids to go to a good school. They want them in a good school system. And so not to say that the, school, the old school system was bad, but they just took it and made it so much better. Um, both cities are very forward thinking with, with the school systems, with the community. So, I mean, you, you put all that in together and I just, I don't know where else you could get all of that for the cost of living that, that we pay. Both uh, towns absolutely cater to families and cater to the family life. That, that's, that is, that's what we're after. That's what we want. Um, you know, the slogan in Gulf Shores is small town, big beach. It's, it describes it perfectly. You know, we've got this beautiful beach. We have a small town feel. Um, but we also, I would say, you know, are progressive in, in looking forward with the community and the kids and the schools. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's fan. I, I love it. It's amazing. So, uh, as, as the uh, gang will tell you, um, anyone who knows me, I'm, I'm naturally very, very driven, very goal oriented. Um, prior to becoming a mother, it was all just natural drive. Um, you know, I just, I, I, something you just can't explain. I couldn't help, but but now that I am a mother, of course, changes your why completely, right? Like, because now now you have this this uh, very important, most important person in your life, and now it's all about them, you know. So it it you know my everything I do now is for our family, is for him, it's for you know our future life. Um, 
You know, I want to be able to travel and take him all over and want to give him all the experiences that uh, that I think are important as far as, you know, molding him into a, a, a cultured, experienced, well-traveled, nice human being. Our, our team, our group, we bring a lot to the table because we all have kind of our dif different superpower, if you will. Um, we all just want to help. I mean, that's that's the goal is is to you know help help agents grow their business. And as far as you know, what someone would get with me is you know I think I'm I'm excellent at helping someone grow a a business. Um, somebody who wants to take their business to the next level like I'm probably not the person if you need help filling out a contract or you know do you, you don't never sold a house before I'm probably not your girl but if if you've kind of really figured out how to sell real estate but you you want to take it to the next level I think I'm your person as far as that goes but also if you you know wanted to be a small team a leader if you wanted to grow a team um, biggest thing that you've got to, to answer if you want to be a team leader is how are you going to supply business to your team how are you going to continue to grow your business so you have enough business to give to the team you know and I think that's where the YouTube channel comes in because I think that you know again it keeps you relevant for the next decade at least so you know as far as helping someone climb the ladder, which I feel like I did for 20 years, um, and then you you know you get you get 20 years later and you look down and, and you realize everything that you've done, the mountain that you've climbed, all the steps. I mean, it, you know, when you're going back and helping somebody else, there's so many steps you can eliminate <laughs> that you either mistook or you know it took you too long to figure one little piece out to get to the next rung. You can eliminate all that. And kind of fast track somebody, you know, to get to where they're going. And I think that's where I would come in and, and be a great resource to an agent or a small team leader. So, yeah, so when I was really um, crunching numbers and, and I had, I already knew financially it made more sense. But one way I was able to kind of talk through, you know, it feeling less risky for myself was just really looking at, okay, I actually decided to build a brand new house because I wanted a really nice home office uh, because I was going to a cloud-based brokerage and I was going to lose my office in town. And I, I did that, built a 3,000 square foot house, beautiful office, built-in cabinetry, storage, the whole nine. And the reality of it is that I was spending less per month on a brand new house with the perfect office that was three times the size of my office at my old uh, building. And I did it for less money. And so it was actually less, cheaper to do that than to continue to pay my monthly office bill, which was a rent payment. I was never gonna own it. Um, it was just gonna be continual uh, rent that I would pay forever. Um, and, and so that really sort of shifted my mindset as far as you know what the actual risk was um, so when I factored all that in in conjunction with all the other reasons financially that it made sense it it became such a no-brainer I knew I knew that there was no way that I could stay at my current brokerage it just didn't make sense to me anymore